Yo, 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 I say yo, what's good YouTube, it's your boy Jaren Reigns coming to you guys with another video man, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, make sure you guys check out all the links down below in the description man, guys, follow my vlog channel man, we are dropping a video very very soon, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Let's get straight into today's video. So, as you guys know, when you go over to headquarters and you scroll down to evolution cards, you got a bunch of cards that you can evolve. Any card that's in your collection that you are able to evolve will be here. And guys, we got the best card in the game, Samoa Joe, and he can be evolved to Amethyst. Obviously, you have to succeed at 50 crowd taunts, uh, land 50 diving attacks, and you have to challenge, or wait, damage 15 opponents' heads. So guys, if you want to do this as quickly as possible, the best way, and I mean the best way to get this done, is through Fashion Wars, guys. You want to be able to do these matches um, pretty quickly. You don't want to play 15 matches, because remember, you have to damage an opponent's head health to red. So if you just do one, you know, a 1v1, it'll take a whole lot longer, you know, to get, um, you know, the rest of the opponent's heads damage now obviously i'm showing you guys what i'm going to do really quickly on how to you know get these cards um evolved super quickly but here's the reason why samoa joe is the best card in the game guys it's plain and simple sting like a b and space invader legendary makes him by far the best card in the game i don't think there's any other card in the game that has that kind of set um obviously he already still has swiftness energetic opportunist um, merciless opportunist um and that's it for his badges kind of disappointing they should have definitely upgraded um, at least swiftness to uh, to silver blue because I know they probably didn't want to make this card too OP and if they would have gave him like amethyst merciless opportunist and like you know silver blue um, swiftness which would be tier two that would pretty much make this card super super OP so we're gonna jump over to faction wars and we're gonna get into the match and it's gonna be pretty simple um some people may be struggling i'm not saying all but here's how you make it as easy as you possibly can guys you want to modify your lineup once you modify your lineup you want to put in the worst cards possible right so that means bronze cards um if you don't have any bronze cards for some odd reason then silver cards and so on and so forth you just want to have the worst cards in your collection in your lineup to complete this method in this video it's super simple guys um, it can get a little bit annoying and that's regular like it's gonna be annoying no one ever said it was gonna be easy so keep that in mind but at the end of the day bro we're gonna be able to get it done with this method so we put in the last bronze into the lineup right here which is Mustafa Ali and then we're gonna also select the worst bronze which would be slapjack out of our starting lineup that we just updated guys so if you guys are enjoying this video make sure you drop a like let's aim for 20 likes drop a like comment subscribe Hit the notification bell, guys. I need you guys to follow me on Twitter, follow my vlog channel, Jaren Ranks, all of that, man, or Jaren Ranks vlog. So straight away, you want to tag in Samoa Joe, and what this does is it allows you to go against an opponent that's a bronze, which will be super weak compared to the other opponent. So obviously, we know we have to do a bunch of taunts, so we'll sit there and get those taunts out the way. Um, taunt to the left. We're just gonna keep doing taunts, guys. Um, that's the most important thing. Now, the thing with Samoa Joe that's annoying is that he does have a, a taunt that does take forever. Um, yeah, so that's very, very annoying. But keep in mind, guys, um, you need to land the diving attacks. You need to do the crown or the crowd um taunts. So you don't want to be sitting there trying to just land strikes all day long. It's gonna be cool, um, because of this thing like a bee. But keep in mind that we don't want to be stuck in this forever, or doing this forever. So it's important that you try to, you know change it up and make things different now here's the thing that's going to be annoying about a you know about a match like fashion wars a match like fashion wars you got to worry about the constant tagging in and out i would say with some honestly just stun them right once you stun them um also you can get the landing uh the diving attacks in because you need about 50 of those and realistically guys you can do this in one match right you can realistically do this in one match you can land a diving elbow, what I just did right there. You can land the, um, or you can do the taunts. It's not that hard at all. You do the taunts. And um, last but not least, to damage an opponent's head health red. It's not going to be too difficult, considering that Samoa Joe is a striker. And his um, finisher kind of results in the player's legs being pretty damaged, his head being pretty damaged, actually. If I'll say the Kokita Clutch, they call it. It's really, it's just a rare naked choke. But you see right there, his head health is damn near red. So... We're gonna tag right here again. Whoa. 
Yep, we get a reversal right there. Whoa, this is on the easiest difficulty. And you keep reversing. So you see his head out is almost red, which is cool. And then from here, um, do we have any finisher? So we have the finisher. Um, we'll just throw in a signature first and we get reverse. That's fine. I think the suplex does help towards the um ooh, we're definitely gonna be able to get at this. I think the suplex definitely does help towards the um head health damage. But I'll ask him, I don't know. So really quickly right here. We're just gonna end up the match. Um just so I can show you guys the progress that I made in this match. Yo, we just got reversed twice. We just got reversed. Alright, so we got the Kokia clutch. Now, um, like I said, guys, it's pretty simple. It's not hard at all. Land diving attacks cause red health, red head health damage. Ooh, let's see. Okay, so we pretty much caused it right there. Honestly, with Samoa Joe, this should be a little bit easier than normal because he does have that finisher as a Kokita clutch, which is, a, you know, a rare naked choke. So at that point, he pretty much is going to be able to just inflict damage upon the head no matter what he pretty much does. So I don't know why he's, why he's not tagging somebody in. It's pretty weird, but it's fine. We are on the attack, so we're going to do that. Whoa, 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 whoa. These dudes won't go down. These dudes won't go down, man. Come on, bro. Bro. That's what I be talking about right here, bro. Like, come on, man. All right, this is what I'm talking about with matches being dragged out, bro. See, guys, I mean, the method is pretty simple, right? You want to go into a Faction Wars game. You want to get 20 or not 20, just that, you know, 20 popping up right there. Confuse me. But you just want to damage all of the opponent's head health red, all four of them. Once you do that, you want to land 50 diving attacks, which is not going to be difficult once they're on the ground. And also, guys, you can pretty much spam um you know the uh the taunts all in one match uh, obviously don't do the wake up taunt keep doing this song right here spam them sim them, spam them and it'll build up guys and you'll have samoa joe to image this in no time so the next time you guys see a video it will be an amethyst samoa joe video the best card in the game so i'm gonna make that gameplay really cool for y'all so yeah um i wonder if i should quit no i kind of want to just get a submission to end it so right here let's see I'm gonna pick him up right here and I'm gonna stun him and lock in that Kokita clutch. Oh my goodness, no. Thank you. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong right now. Okay, here we go. Run at him, run at him. There we go. We're gonna end him with the Kokita clutch right here. And we're gonna take a look at how much we got done. Now remember guys, you guys can do this in one match. You don't have to obviously the um the head health, you only can do four. So that'll take you about what four five matches to get 20. Um, so yeah, it'll take you five matches to get Samoa Joe to a, um, you know, to a Amethyst, which is not bad at all. So we're going to quit through, rush through this really quickly. And I'm um, just taking a look at the progression, how I did it really quickly in the middle of a little video real quick. And, um, yeah, guys, it's not going to be hard at all to get these cards evolved and it pretty much, oh, as we get 10 tokens, um, but it pretty much goes like this guys for all of the cards you need to evolve. Some of it gets a little bit annoying because you have to do multiple different challenges, but it's pretty much all the same stuff that you can get done um, in Faction Wars. So you see right there, uh, we definitely wasn't doing the taunts, right? I guess it's to the left, right? maybe D-pad to the left. Who knows? I don't know why they just did that. But um, yeah, we only had two diving attacks on um, one opponent with uh, red head health. So we'll get that finished and I uh, hope you guys get it finished too. So yeah, guys, yo, leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. This just was a video of me showing you guys how to get Samoa Joe to emit this in the fastest fashion. And pretty much any other card you guys feel like you've all been fashion words is usually the route to go. So if you got any comments, questions, concerns, drop it down below in the comment section. Drop a like on this video. Follow my blog, Channel JR Ranks, along with the other descriptions in the link in the description. And um, guys, make sure that you guys hit the notification bell because that's how I get notified when we upload a stream. You know what I'm saying? And I'll catch you guys in the next video, man. It's your boy, Jen Ranks, and I'm out, y'all. Peace. Gang, they cannot do it like him. Uh huh. Nobody shooting like him. Gang, nobody doing like him. That nigga hate everyone because he broke, and that's why he fight like him. Gang, SD Glow, now he talking this shit.